We're here and we're going to uh, install this torque lock injector cup in this ISX here behind us. This ISX has already had the Cummins wedding rings installed in it to fix the coolant problem that they have where the coolant and fuel start mixing. That didn't work, so we pulled the wedding rings out and we're going to now install our torque lock injector cups and uh, we'll show you how that works. And so one of the things that allows us to be able to put this, do the work that we're going to do on this torque lock injector cup install on the truck is this little plug right here. So this little plug and this tool, this threads into the plug, it'll pop down into the uh, injector hole and then unscrew and that'll allow us to machine, clean, but without getting any debris down inside the cylinder. And then when we're all done, we'll screw this back in and pop that out and put the injectors in and get the truck back on the road. All right, so your kit's gonna come with two different taps. Your first tap you're gonna use is this inch and a half tap. It's a six flute, and that's what's actually gonna go in and tap your, your factory cups, just like this one. It'll tap that cup, so you'll use the sleeve that comes with it. And then your other tap is gonna be what you're gonna use to do the actual cast iron, and it's a custom thread that we designed. So once you get the stock cups out, you're gonna use this tap, go down in there and tap the cast iron, and that's this thread right here that the torque lock cup will actually go down and seat into the head. Now just remember that plug that you put down in there, it is clearanced enough for this tap. So you can take this tap and tap it all the way down until it stops without touching that, that plug. So it's not gonna hold you up or anything like that. All right, so in the torque lock injector cup, now we have all of our factory OEM cups in this ISX head. We're gonna take this tap that comes with the, uh, the kit and this sleeve and this sleeve and tap and we're gonna drop it right down into place here. And we're gonna go ahead and tap that factory cup. You're just gonna let that start tapping in there. So once it's tapped, we're gonna go ahead and pull the tap out. We're gonna clean the tap and we're gonna go ahead and tap right back into this one. While we have the tap in our hand, we're just gonna tap all six of these. Now that all the stock cups are tapped, you're ready to use this removal tool. It should come assembled, but if it doesn't come assembled, as you can see, you'll have a nut on one end here and a hex. Then you'll have your washer, and then we added this kingpin bearing just to help turn everything so that it pulls. And then this side right here will thread down into the cup that you just tapped. And then as you put this in, in the hole, then basically you'll just tighten this down till it all stops. And then you can go ahead and tighten this down. Just keep turning this. This pressure will just pop that stock cup right up out of the right up out of the hole. And it'll be on here just like this. And then we've added a uh, hex here so that you can hold onto this while turning the stock cup off. So you can remove that. Put our puller. Now we've got the cups pulled out, the factory cups. We're going to um, go in and brush the whatever fluids left down in there out and clean that up a little bit. Let's give us ourselves a little bit of clean area to tap. Tap the cast iron head for the new torque lock injector cup to screw into. We're gonna use this tap magic that comes with the kit. Put it on our threads. We're gonna drop this tap down in the hole. And then using the sleeve that comes with it from the other tap, it will index into here. And we will start the tapping process. You gotta kind of push down a little bit, fill it grab. You're gonna wanna take it all the way until it stops and bottoms out and then back it off. And like I said, the plug that's down in there is out of the way, so you won't have to worry about it. Okay, so once we've tapped the first hole, between each hole, let's clean and pull off the tap. Put a little more tap magic on it. You can see our little plug down there stopping any of the debris or anything from falling into the cylinder.
Okay, so now we're ready to install the torque lock cups. As you can see, how this indexes in and locks, that's where we get the torque lock effect. Put a little anaerobic sealer on the threads. The main reason why I'm doing this is so if you ever want to pull the cups out, this won't lock the threads completely in there and gives it just a little, little seal. And then we'll just loop the O-rings. We'll go down in here. Falls down into place. We're tight here. Now we're going to torque that to 55 foot pounds. And then we'll pull our tool out, move on to the next one. All right, now that our torque lock injector cups are installed in the cylinder head, we're going to uh, pull the plugs out that we've put down in the injector nozzle hole so that we can actually put the injectors back in. All right, so now we've got all of our torque lock injector cups installed in this ISX. It's time to put the rockers back on, install the injectors, put the top end back together and the valve cover. If you've uh, put the wedding ring in there before or have tried that job, we have a couple of tools that will help you pull that out, pull those wedding rings out, and, and be able to utilize the torque lock injector cup as the permanent fix for the ISX coolant in the fuel link. 